Jack, you tend to draw a crowd wherever you are. Look look who's been sitting here with us. None other. Oh, now he's trying to leave. None other than three-time PPR world champ Silvano Alves. Silvano, good to have you up here. <laughs> <laughs> I like hanging out with gold, man. The guys hey, who got the gold. There's some buckles. There's some buckles uh, up here. I'm the one hanging out with gold. Very nice. Silvano, of course, always with that smile. One of the reasons why he's one of the huge fan favorites wherever we go. Meanwhile, we all get to watch another guy that likes to smile, Fabiano Vieira, where he'll face too dirty. There we're checking in with Fabiano Vieira. This is too dirty. Still looking for that first score for him this weekend. Yeah, and this is this is the veteran of the bunch in Fabiano. This guy has been around a long time, been through all sorts of injuries, most notable the shoulder injuries that he has dealt with his entire career and getting them fixed and trying to battle back. And, and he's kind of one of those guys that you're going to see anytime he goes to a velocity event, he's going to dominate. How surprised were you earlier today on CBS when Nailed took care of him under two seconds? Oh, and Too Dirty doesn't want to work today. A little stage fright. I was going to say, we're going to see Fabiano get another chance, and that doesn't happen too often when the bull says, wait, am I supposed to go now? <laughs> no, he turned down today. Uh-uh. That's Cord McCoy, by the way. This is one of his bulls there in the white shirt on the shoots, the former rider here at this level. And and he's a really good little bull, too. I've seen that bull on several different times, and he's a great little bull, but not today. Fabiano will match up with another one, and now we swing towards Eduardo Aparecido. This is his rewrite attempt aboard Invisible Fire. Yeah, that... This could be a big match here. This this could be a big one for Eduardo, especially the way he's riding so far this weekend. I, I think he's he's on his game, and this is a really good bull. A seven-time winner at this level. Eduardo with the statement saying to Invisible Bull, you see me now? Takes Invisible Fire for 86 and a half. Really a good job by Eduardo, and I love these rides away from a guy's hand when you can tell the weight's a little bit stuck on their outside leg, and if they ever weaken or ever give up, pick their head up in the slightest bit, the ride will be over, but they're able to stay dialed in and keep working for the center keep working for the center even when it's not just exactly perfect that's a good job those 86 and a half points good enough to move him into second overall slotting behind his friend lucas devino this is marcus mast and stuntman ray has won every rider once Marcus is going to be disappointed in himself because that first move from Stuntman Ray caused the touch, the clock stopped, and that was definitive. Yeah, it just gets, gets a beat and a little out of time. He's back, misses the front end. So here's going to come the touch right there. All the momentum is whipping him forward there. See the touch, and but then you've seen how good he could ride. You know, then he just went ahead and rode him, no problem. Mast will have to hope next week can be something different. Well, we've talked about Jess Lockwood all season long, and for good reason. He's one of our titans, and he still has a chance to be our new world number one by the end of the night. Here's this week's athlete profile brought to you by the all-new Cooper Discoverer AT3 tires. Lockwood has done it! Jess Lockwood loves the Northeast! The year to me is going pretty, it's just going decent. You know, I'm second in the standing, which most people would say that's a pretty damn good year. 
But uh, to me, I feel like I should be at the top, and I should be at the top every single weekend from beginning to end, and uh, I expect that of myself. But uh, it's been a pretty good year, you know. That's that drive and determination, Mac, that you know all so well, and really that we all do. That's how Jess has become a two-time PBR world champion. This weekend, Brazil, 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 Brazil. The top four spots led by Lucas Davino. We've still got one spot open, though, in this championship round with a couple guys with their opportunity to add their name to the list. We go into the shoots. Our winner in the 15-15 bucking battle earlier today, Colt Jesse aboard Lil Two Train. Man, I thought this was a good ride right here. Away from Colton's hand and bouncing around. Never really in the perfect spot, but got there by the eight seconds. That was a really good finish. What's Colton Jesse get for all that effort? Well, he gets to match up against Gangster's Wild Side. It's a tough bull right here, and not always will he have great timing. He'll kind of hop and skip and hit flat-footed from time to time, turn back either direction. But I think he has gotten a little more rider-friendly over the past year or so. Now, this is a bull who has never made it easy over the years that he's been on tour. You mentioned that rider-friendly aspect. It was our current world number one, Joseph Itor Leme, the last guy to ride him in New York. Yeah, that's that's what I love to see is when you look at the qualified rides there's been on this bull, Jose Vitor Lemmy, Jeff Lockwood, Cooper Davis, those are the guys that get it done. So I feel like Colt, though, is marching in that direction. You mentioned that earlier today on CBS. All the ingredients, ingredients are there for Jesse to make that jump into the top of the conversation. Speaking of jump and motion, Gangster's Wild Side getting a little itchy. And down he goes. Jesse will be done. Buck off in round one at six and change. This one a little bit quicker, 6.2. And this gangster's wild side. He'll just keep working you because Jesse does a really nice job. This is a wicked corner right here. Really drops his shoulder and comes around. Jesse's handling everything perfect. And just about the time he thinks he's tapped off, you watch wild side shoot forward right there, getting back and just leaving. Win in the bucking battle, worth a lot of points, but you can tell Colton Jesse disappointed in himself because he's done. Meanwhile, Fabiano becomes the last man to add his name, to have a chance to add his name to that championship round list. If he makes eight seconds, he's in. He faces bad decisions. Not only will, do I think he'll be in if he makes eight seconds, but he's gonna vault himself up there pretty high for no more guys than have, than have ridden two bulls because this is a bull that you can put up really good scores on. Just got to pay attention on this bull and not get stuck to the inside. Paul Malansan, this was one of those bulls that helped him win the Iron Cowboy title back in Los Angeles. Bullet likes the left, but if you get too far over on him, he's going to widen out and try and lead you to the inside. Fabiano gets it done and earns the chance at another one. In terms of the top one ride totals, Jess Lockwood was 90 and a half, then it's 88 from Brennan Eldred, and Fabiano slots in at 86 and a half. And I'm not sure that he could have made any better of a ride than what he just did on this bull. He rode him perfectly square, perfectly in the middle for eight seconds. Really good job. It's gonna put him in the lower third of the pecking order, but he's in. 
So Fabiano will have one of the last picks in the draft. A guy who hopes to have, have first pick. That's how we started the show with Jess telling Kate that the reason he loves to have these great scores coming in is that he has something to build on. Well, aptly named, he sits atop here in Kansas City, a bull by the name of Mahomey. Now, and this was a bull that he was he was had a different name during the Global Cup, but we actually had this bull. The USA Eagles had this bull. I think Boudreaux Campbell got on him for us and not the not the smoothest timing um, with this bull, but I also seen a video of Jess Lockwood riding this bull in the practice pin uh, back before the season started. There you can see Lockwood's directing a little traffic, kind of wanting the camera guys to. This bull's pretty touchy about his head, wanting everybody to kind of stay back off of his head and give him some space. Let's take you back. 24 hours, round number one. Another 90-plus score for Jess. Hey, and this was worth every point, in my opinion. This was a snappy little bull, and Lockwood makes a flawless ride. This was the ride you were referring to at the top, being four points over the bull. Really a good ride, but then hit. Things get a little bit, a little bit rough in the 15-15 bucking battle. And got banged up in the shoot a little bit, and. Nobody said it would be easy. No, and as Jess has told all of us countless times, he knows Next it's side, never side. easy, and he's willing to do the work. Case in point, why he's already got two gold buckles, and he's not stopping there. These two have matched up before. It was worth 81 and three quarters last year. Mahomey evens the score, surprising Jess a few different times, and that one officially ends around 3.7. I'd rename that bull. I'd rename him. I'm not sure how you spell that, but <laughs> that's just a that's just a out of line, terrible timing. I mean, that's the kind you've got to fight tooth and nail to get to the eight seconds, and you're not going to be very many points when you do. Tough bull to get by that's not going to produce big scores. You see they only mark him 36 and a quarter. Hey, look, if they don't rename that bull what you said, you could revive your singing career and have a song entitled, Ugh. Hmm. Or that. <laughs> Who's moving on to the championship round? Lucas Davino will have the coveted first pick just ahead of Eduardo Aparecido. Denner Barsa and Ramon, Denner Barbosa, Ramon DeLima and Jess Lockwood would round out the top five. And speaking of the Lockwood family, they will have two to watch in our championship round. Hey everybody, Matt West here. Thanks for watching the PBR's YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to catch all the top moments from the professional bull riders. While you're at it, make sure you download the Ride Pass app and catch all of the PBR action today.